guys welcome back CFP here and this is survival living now we do have a delivery today this is something that we were waiting on our friends over there at spider farmer has hooked us up with a grow light this is something that we are going to be doing a lot of videos on I want to go ahead and do the unboxing today and once a week we're going to be doing a grow journal on what we're growing show the difference between our plants between the ones that are supported with this grow light and natural lighting so let's go ahead and take a look inside this and uh, I'll show you what they sent us okay so since I've already opened it up just to make sure everything was safely packaged and yes they really do a great job on packaging this stuff because you don't want anything breaking that's for sure all right so box is empty and it does come with a user manual. All right. Went ahead and flipped through this earlier. It does go over details on everything from rigging it up to also height of your lighting for your grow stages. And of course, they also included other languages in this as well. But for English, looks like we've got the first four pages. English. Key. So I don't speak any other language. Alright, so go ahead and pull this out. Um, yeah, I mean, they did a great job on making sure the shipping was dead on. Alright, so this is it. This is the uh, grow light here. And it is Spider Farmer. We will flip the back side open. Let me get the rest of the stuff out of here. We don't need that. Alright, so it came with a harness setup. So we don't have to worry about running in our own harness stuff. Rope ratchet light hanger. Maximum weight 150 pounds. Alright, so we do have the hangers here. I do have four set of hooks. Well, carabiners. It does have a pulley ratchet system, which is actually pretty cool. And we got the actual clips. It looks like stainless steel wire that would go directly onto the panel itself to hook up. So that comes with the harness kit we'll set that to the side Let's see what else we've got here some power cord and looks like a junction cable although it does look like a phone cable I believe this is a junction cable to connect multiple lights together Yeah, here we go. All right, so yes, it does have multiple connections. So you can connect these lights together. It does have a dimmer switch. It's got a power on, and this switch back here in the back, you have to engage that to use your dimmer. All right, let's get a good view of our backside here so you guys can actually take a look at what we're working with now this light is the SF 1000 according to the manual it should only be using about a hundred watts so I'm hoping for that because we are actually gonna be running this off of our solar banks when we do our grow now it's made out of aluminum plating here which of course has printed circuitry for all your LEDs um, this thing is actually very bright they do warn you when you go to do the uh, unboxing to wear sunglasses and I'll show you why here in just a moment okay so we are plugged in and like I said we are using our solar and we're fixing to throw the switch here yeah that is why they say to wear sunglasses this thing is actually very bright 
it won't look directly at it without the um, aid of the sunglasses guys because it might not show on camera but if you try to look directly at this while it's running it's bright all right so I hit the switch on that now what I am going to do I'm going to test out this dimmer and like I said this is bright so I got to turn around so it's not quite as bright there we go so yeah that is a lower dimmer there I don't know if you probably can't see it on camera guys we've got a bright white we've got a soft glow light and we also have strips of red looks like there's 10 reds I did not count how many LEDs are on this thing now they say this thing gets very hot or produces heat which all grow lights do so far we've been running for off camera for about 10 minutes and we're not producing any heat so far but that does not mean it doesn't create heat so yeah we just intensified that again yeah all right guys so right fast it does does have a caution sticker but I want to go over what they're saying on this sticker it says uh, rated power 100 watts amps 0.82 amps and of course it uses 120 volt it's a 50 to 60 hertz zero noise avoid a lot of water flow to light recommend add a fan to lower working temperature so if you're going inside a, uh, a grow tent something like that using a fan in there just to keep the uh, temperature cooler for your plants is a good idea but we are definitely going to be setting this up and giving it a try in future videos so yeah guys that is the spider farmer SF 1000 um, like I said this is something that we're going to be testing out I want to um, try grow lights because like I said before when we get out to Wyoming we're going to be running greenhouses now I do understand that you can grow plenty of food without grow lights in a greenhouse but I also want you to understand I've been in Wyoming before I know how cloudy it gets I also know the winter months up there I worked out there all right I've lived out there in that area granted I have not lived on the property that we have out there yet but we're gonna be homesteading so getting familiar with these grow lights things like that in theory having the grow lights inside the greenhouse is going to not only create a better yield as far as crops but it will also speed up our grow time to harvest time and since there is such a short grow time in Wyoming due to the weather conditions this is something we're going to be looking at so our next video guys I'll be showing the construction of what we're going to be doing for um, testing this out uh, we will be growing from seed now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting this upside outside in a outdoor enclosure we'll be growing haven't decided on what plants just yet but right next to it we will have the exact same plants growing on the outside directly same plot but without the aid of the grow light so we'll be able to compare the two all right, so having a grow light that's actually able to run, I believe they said, uh, let me flip through here right fast, guys. I'll be able to tell you something. All right, so during germination period, hang at 24 to 30 inches, 18 hours on, 6 hours off. All right, uh, seedings, 24 inches, 18 hours on, 6 hours off. It looks like for the majority of it, it's 18 hours of this light running to help with the growth now when it blooms you only want 12 hours on 12 hours off so it'll be easily regulated I can actually keep an eye on that and then while we're doing our weekly grow on this we'll be able to see the difference between what's inside the structure and the outside so since it's all in the exact same area it's about the best way I can do a experiment side by side and showing the difference between the light and just regular sunlight with no aid of a grow light so anyway guys definitely appreciate all the new subscribers that have uh, joined us here 
And of course, I definitely appreciate all the subscribers that have been hanging out with us here. Like I said, this is something we're interested in doing. We will be working with Spider Farmer as an affiliate program. Um, later, I will be getting links, things like that up for y'all if it's something you're interested in checking out. If you're planning on growing your own food and if you're growing inside, yeah, it makes sense to have a grow light. So, here we go. We got one that we can test out and we can thoroughly check it out, guys, so we can make sure the durability is there. I mean, this has got an aluminum backboard, all right? It's not the cheap plastic ones. This is all metalized. It is a printed board on the front. It does have all the LED lighting that you need. I mean, it's got all this set up here. And like I said, we ran it for about 10 minutes and I didn't get no heat off this thing. But I do know grow lights create heat, so I'm not saying there's no heat. Don't get me wrong there, all right? There will be heat eventually. But as 10 minutes of runtime, we didn't produce any heat. So anyway, guys, definitely appreciate y'all hanging out with us today. And again, that is the Spider Farmer. Um, I'm looking forward to starting this project. I think it'd be really cool to see the difference in grow light versus natural light. Um, and like I said, this will be outdoors. Now, there will be a structure built just to keep everything fair. But we'll see what we can do here. All right, guys, you take care. Speak to y'all later.